Alright, I'm going to talk about the Star Wars Old Republic 1.2 test server they have out and the changes that are coming in the game. I'm going to narrate through all the little video clips that I took last night. I'm a little tired. It's not going to be perfect. I might have not the best grammar. Oh well. I'm raw and uncut. But I took this video as the new area because I wanted to show you how much the graphics have changed for the better. When the fight starts, you're going to see the particle effects that actually shoot towards you as you're looking at the screen. It's very impressive, and I want you guys to be able to see that when the fight starts. Plus, the graphics itself are really upgraded for the better. It's and my crossfire is actually getting use out of it now on my two 6970 cards in crossfire. So I wanted to show you that. So as we see here, the fight's going to start to start and I'll let you guys watch so you can concentrate. Look at the particle effects between me, the, me and, and him. And if I didn't do the moves right, oh well. I never played a sorcerer until I tried it on the test server. Okay? Deal with it. <laughs> Just the light, light, lightning alone looks so much better, but look at the, the sparks flying everywhere. He's under my control. Let's get out of here. So I kept the recording going because I want you to see as we're walking out all the cracks, the bump mapping, how much better the rocks uh, look. Everything uh, graphic wise looks so much better and it plays so much better. I think the game runs better on the test server than the live server because. As you saw how I changed the UI around in a later clip, you'll see about the changes you can make in the UI. And I screwed up. I didn't have my mouse cursor on. I forgot. And I wasn't going to re-record re it. So, but here we go. We're going to go into the area. And as you're going, you already can see the cracks and the steps and everything. And everything doesn't look flat anymore and bland. I'd give him a thumbs up on that. That's for sure. Now we're gonna move to a another clip. Now look at that. That freaking hologram of the the universe. The solar system. The Star Wars solar system or whatever. That's most likely what it is. I can it's it, it's come to live in the in the one point two. I like it so much. It's a very big graphic overhaul, if, you, if as you can see. Now I'm gonna show you how you can edit the whole UI now and personalize it. See, I clicked. Uh, my companion and he's looking at me so target of target works and I've done it in a party because people actually will group with you and pugs will group group with you in the test server so I was able to do the target of target to see if it worked and it worked great the whole UI is way more responsive now it makes the game feel like it should have been when it was released now I'm playing around showing you, you know, that everything can be changed and resized. Anything that is on that UI can be changed and resized. And that's what I, I like that a lot. So I made it personally the way I like it. See, I got the three, uh, five quick bars, one for the companion and the four regular. That's how I like it. I, I don't like flipping pages with quick quick bars when I'm in the middle of a fight in PvP I want everything where I can get it and I have I have each 
you know, blocks set up for certain moves. So I know these moves, I got single target damage. I know that that row is the the AE target damage. I know that row is the debuff. I know, you know, this row is for the heals. And so I'm, I love the UI now. And I hated the UI when the game was released. It felt like a kid's UI, if there's a such thing as a kid's UI. <laughs> but here I'm moving it around to show you that's the for the the roles for the social, you know, the who wins, the dark light choices for the social thing where you showed your roles. And I left it over there where the default but then since I changed my UI around, I forgot all about it and I wasn't watching it. And I like to see what people roll. And that box I just moved is when your decision of if you went dark or light. So the box will go there and show your points there, your 100 dark points or whatever, 50, all different. And that's for the in-game text, that box I just moved. So I haven't even played I, the stuff that I changed for this video. I haven't even tried it in game, so... I don't even know how, what it looks like. All right, see, I'm just showing you. You can move anything wherever you want. It's a, a UI creator's dream. You could do all different things. See, I resized it. And now all the stuff that's up on the left-hand corner, that's blue top is all the stuff for the war zones for the pvp i moved it there so it's not near my quest stuff i like it that way better so everybody everything has a place where i think in my eyes it simplifies the game and makes things e to get to easier so i have easy access now we're going to the final part my favorite part of so far of what i've tested on the test server is the war zone there are bugs since this this patch though you'll kill somebody they'll just stay there in in the war zone dead either they get crashed or something so they just stay there and they look like a statue so entering this war zone I never played this class I never did this war zone so this is the first time I, I, I put all my cards in and did it on the first shot so I don't even know what's going on here at this point so I just see this you know the, the ledge I said ah if I jump off maybe I'll die so I said I'll wait to see what somebody else does ah he jumped off so I said okay I'll follow him so I followed him because I didn't know what to do or what was going on and I didn't realize um, if I went a little farther there was another door over there that you will see later in the video so the same thing glass the 